You've never, you've never had to be a composer in residence for a radio station? Never. I never heard of it. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm beyond thrilled with, uh, the, with the process so far. The first year we had Quinn Mason as our Draylon Mason composer in residence. The next year, this year, we went to a Clarice Assad. This year, when she came to us for the Draylon Mason composer in residence uh, here at KMFA, she spent a lot of time with students at Aikens School in Austin. She spent time at the Ann Richards School and then we spent time at East Austin Prep at Draylon Mason's alma mater. Then when she came back in the fall for the premiere, a fantastic work by Alan Blues, that week was packed. Of course, around the rehearsals of the work, she also spent a lot of time with music students at the school. On one particular occasion, she participated in Evgeny Charlotte's uh, Composers Forum. She did uh, participate in a discussion with one of the composition professors who was highlighting that particular week women composers in the 20th century who were also vocalists. Well, Clarice is actually that. She's born in the 20th century, she's a woman composer, and she's a vocalist. Um, I did sit in on that class. There were five students there, and they were just glued to everything she uh, was talking about during the entire class. When we come to the rehearsal of the, the work, she was very involved with listening, making adjustments here and there. She and the conductor, Douglas Kenny Frost, would talk about, what if we did this here? What if we changed this accent here? The students absolutely loved working with her. First of all, playing a work for the very first time, so doing a world premiere of a work, that's huge uh, in the lives of college musicians. But also having the composer there, this is a living composer who's standing right in front of them, listening to them play, it's thrilling for the students. When we finished the first rehearsal, there was a line of students, and of course she's very accommodating and she loved uh, talking with them. But the same thing happened after each rehearsal that we attended. They were just thrilled to be in, in the presence of this composer who wrote this work that they are going to be playing for the very first time. Also, you know, the creation of this music is very important in this program. It's, it's the, the centerpiece of this, is the creation of new music that will live on. This piece will, will live on. Who knows, a hundred years from now, this might be in standard repertoire for orchestras around the world. But, you know, she also knew very much uh, going into this that this, this composition is intended to honor Draylon Mason. And I think moving forward, we've got wonderful opportunities to continue to honor Draylon uh, with compositions each year from a Draylon Mason composer in residence. And of course, we can't do that without support from listeners and donors. I would say this, it is a very worthy cause to uh, donate to because it is creating music, uh, creating music that will live on and it will live on in his name. Thank you.